Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's bad. Okay, so hang on. Post that on YouTube. All right, here's the basics on how to drive in sand. Rule number one, lower your air pressure in your tires to between 14 and 18 pounds, depending on your tires. These could even probably be let out a little more. If the air pressure is lower, then you have a wider surface area at the bottom of your wheel, and you'll get better traction. It makes a huge difference that I cannot overstate. So make sure that you air down. If you're being left behind by all your friends, you probably have too much air pressure in your actual tires. Grabber. All right. Next, if you have any kind of air dam or plastic thingy hanging below your bumper, take it off or you'll lose it on the sand. You can see I lost my license plate this day too because I left that on there. That was a mistake. A bumper hitch turned upside down works great for hooking a tow strap too so people can tow you out of trouble. Definitely bring a tow strap. Bring lots of gas. You can see I burned half a tank on this trip and we only went 64 miles and some of that was on the road so on the sand we're probably getting four or five miles per gallon uh, when it gets dark it gets really super dark so make sure that you have good headlights maybe even a flashlight um, i've got leds in my truck that are super bright and a sand flag is required check the law because some places want a flag on the front and back some say the flag has to be orange in this case you can run whatever you want but it has to be six feet above the sand um, you can get a special mount for it or i just jam it in there with duct tape and get to know how your four-wheel drive transmission works. If it has four-wheel high and four-wheel low, figure out which one works best for you. I keep mine in four low because that works best for me. And then driving in the sand has a lot to do with momentum. So you always want to make sure you're pointed downhill. And if you're going uphill, do not stop. So using gravity as your friend, um, get all the momentum you need on the downhills and then carry it through the uphills and if you're not like in this example i'm not carrying enough momentum uphill i've kind of slowed down and slowed down and slowed down and wasn't on the gas enough i'm kind of sliding sideways into a ditch here so the next step is what do you do when you slide sideways into a ditch and you're up to your doors in sand again gravity is your best friend so you want to make sure that in getting out you crank your wheels so that you're up and down you don't want to be ever go down sideways you want to be as straight up and down as you can get and then go backwards use the gravity and then punch it when you get to the bottom give it some gas so that you can get out of the hole and then take another run at it so once i've backed up then i probably choose a smarter line and then i just try to go around the dune gaining all the momentum while i'm on the flats and then hammer down here don't slow down until i'm pointing downhill again so gravity is your friend gravity is your friend gravity can also be your enemy if you don't use it right so now going down a big hill you want to go slow over the top of it make sure you're going straight up and down the hill not diagonally and then be on the brakes as you're going down the hill and just let gravity pull you down and then right when you get to the bottom give it some gas and roll out of it simple and then what about uphill that's gonna send it uphill you want to be going straight up and down the hill you want to gain as much momentum as you can on the flats because you're going to lose a lot of speed as you go up and then you don't want to fly over the top too fast or you could damage your truck like this guy crunch. Crunch. so if you do want to go diagonally across the face of a dune what you want to do is get lots of speed and do not slow down because obviously if you stop or slow down that's when you're in the most danger of rolling it side to side down the hill and destroying your truck so if you're going to do this hammer down keep it down and do not stop moving even if it starts bouncing around like you saw in this picture so that's the basics there's a lot more to learn but that's the basics